Hello and welcome to Unity 3D Tutorials. So, this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a working shooting gun. I've got the models from a like model pack sort of thing on the asset store. To get these you can just go onto all prefabs, search asset store, and then after prefab, oh actually no it's right there. So, these come as a pack. So if I click on this, as you can see, import package, and then obviously it'll download it and import it. So that's where I've got my models from. Um, in here I've got my bullet, which is just a pretty simple bullet, but I'll show it you now. Put that to zero. That to zero. Where is my camera? Put it that way. There you go. It's very, very small. But um that's that's pretty much what it is. So I'm gonna start by creating a trade. And on this I'm just gonna stick a very simple texture onto it. Uh good dirt, I'll do. There we are, and then yeah, right. So now, what's that? What's it the map? There we go. Um, now I'm going to place a first-person controller. There we go. And I'm going to set him to 1.2 so that he doesn't fall through the floor. There we go. Working. Maximize on play. There we are. Right. So, create other directional light. Pretty much just set up the basics. There we go. So, there we have our person. So we need to drag in our model. So let's go into prefab and I'm gonna get a assault rifle. There we are. Now the assault rifle is a bit too big, so I'm gonna scale that down. There we are. Drag him back. Put him down a bit. Move him to the left. There we go. I'm going to drop down on the first person controller, drag that into the main camera. And now, when I go into this, as you can see, it doesn't stop me from walking. I can walk either way. And when I turn the camera, it walks, it goes with it. Now, as you can see, it's still a little bit too big because it still goes into the terrain, so I'm going to have to scale that down a little bit more. That should do. Move to the left, move back. Okay, let's just move him up. There we go. There we go, so that still goes in a little bit, but it's just a pain. Go that down. There we go. Right. Okay. That should be fine. That should be fine. Should be. Should. Should. Don't. Probably not. Oh, it is fine. Okay. So now we need to create an empty game object and we're going to rename it in the hierarchy to spawn or spawn point. You can rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to drop down the assault rifle low and I'm going to drag it onto the muzzle. Drop down that. And then set the position of the spawn game object to zero, zero, zero. So now it's on the front of the gun. So from there, I'm going to drag it just so that it's in front of it a little bit down. 
We really do need a camera fly speed on this engine. We're pretty good. So you add that. I can't see a thing. There we are. That bit that way. Bit that way. Oops. That should be fine. So we're gonna leave that there for a minute. Make your bullet. Um, I've got mine from in here. No, not in here. Aha, it was, but I had to download another one. I think I just went into models and typed in bullet there. And then that imported this. And then inside that, this inside the prefect, the pre uh, prefect? The prefabs folder, there should be a bullet one, but I moved it out. So get out of the scale it down, and that's pretty much it. So um, I'm just gonna delete that. So yours should just be like this. So click on the bullet. Once you scale it down, by the way, you just have to drag it from the Harachi into your um, project list asset thing. And click on it in the project explorer. There we go, that's what it's called. And in here we're gonna add the component physics rigid body. And we're gonna just leave it like that. You can freeze rotation if you wanted to. Ah, oh, right. I'm very clogged up. Hold on. Okay, so should be a little bit better. Just got a bit of fix there, because, you know, fix is the answer to everything. So, you've just added a rigid body arm, and we're going to go... Oh, we can't add the script, because I've not told you to make it yet. So, I've got the scripts already made, so instead of you coding them, I'm just going to stick them in a paste bin, and you can just get them from there. So, it just saves a lot of time on the video, and a lot of pain between me switching between them both like that um, it's pretty simple it's just a few variables the fire speed is this I'm not sure if it actually works but um, I'm not I'm not sure sorry about that one but um, this basically is what you're gonna change if you don't want it to be a automatic pistol, uh, automatic like fire. You just put get key capital down, capital D down, put it down. Um, so that will basically change. It'll change it if between a um, automatic and a semi. So once we've done that, I'm gonna copy and paste that into paste bin um, I'm just gonna quickly sign it there we are so now I'm gonna name this shoot dot js there we are so as you can see this is the paste bin URL so if I forget to put it in the description Possibly not, but possibly if I do, it is a possibility because I'm an idiot. Can't forget things. I can't remember things even. Um, you you know that that's all you need to type in. It's just Q D E D A Y P nine. And so that's that one. I'm going to create another paste for the destroy script. The destroy script is something that's because without it. So if I go on to um, if I click on the assault rifle and drag in shoot. And then I go into my customizable gun, drag in bullet, and then go into my Arachi, oops, 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 drag in spawn to the spawn point. And then I'm just going to leave that at 0.5. Um, as you can see, without, oh, let me just unminimize that. Without the destroy, stri the destroy script, it's it's just going to keep them there and it's going to get laggy after after a while 
I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. I'm pretty sure that it shouldn't be rotating like that. So as you can see, here, there's a lot of bullet clones. But as soon as you stop playing, they're going to destroy. But people that don't have very good computers are going to start lagging. So that's why we need the, the destroy script. So again, very, 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 very simple. Even more simpler than the shoot script. Um, it's just a variable of when, how long you want it to destroy after. So, if I was you, I'd set this to about 4. 4.0, just in case you want to have multiples. 4.00. Voice break. Um, so, that's, that's that. So, it's going to wait for the seconds, whatever this is. And then it's going to destroy the game object. So if we quit out of mono develop and we drag this into our bullet what's that in here. If we go to add component scripts and then destroy. Oh, I didn't do it. Oops. Let me just um show an explorer. Go inside this, go inside destroy. There we go. Paste that in here and put destroy dot js. Paste that in. There you go. So this is paste bin C H six K N K U eight. So that's that done. Um so now if we drag if we've put that on bullet here we could put uh, 4.5 like, or something 4.3 will do so now as you can see we we'll shoot it out 4 seconds later it destroys them all why is it rotating there? that's really weird Destroy. 4.3 is a little bit too long for a demonstration, but there you go. Um, I'm going to stop the gun from turning now then. So we're going to do that by putting on the bullet. Would that make... Let's just freeze rotation on that. Did that do anything? No, apparently not. Let's see what... what um, huh. Doesn't do that. If it does it on yours, you're going to have to let me know because... If I go on to this one now... Twist. That was meant to say test, but okay. If I go to this, it doesn't do that for me. On here, that's a little bit strange. Um, okay. Carrying on. Twist. Don't even know. Don't don't ask. Now I'm going to show you how to make it bounce off something. So why don't I just click play? Create other cube. And then we're going to put the cube over here. Uh, do that. And that. Just drag it down there. Do that. Make it red. No, that's terrible because that's just it. No, no, it's not. Okay. Um, so now, as you can see, when it hits, when it kind of goes through there, it's not actually going through there. Or you would be able to see if it had stopped. Woo! So, um, let's, let's stop that. So, we need to go on to our bullet again. We need to drag it into the scene. So, if I go over here, drag the bullet in, 
hovering over the scene view, press F to take me into it. There we are. There we go. So, um, F basically just focuses it. That's all it does. So, go into physics, box collider, and we're going to make this box collider size the size of the bullet. X is the size of the bullet, and Z is the size of the bullet. That seems about right. And the Y is a little bit. Oh, not the Y. Z. The X is a little bit too much. Stop doing that. It's moving way too quick. Jesus Christ. That's fine. Right. So now that's done. So we can just we can delete this bullet in here and then drag that one back in so that the box collide is on there. Delete the bullet. Uh go on to our gun and just check that the bullet's not there anymore. Drag that in and there we go. So now just put that back up. Now as you can see it bounces off. It's still a little bit buggy but that's because it's just a normal wall. It's nothing much. I need to find an area where it's not. There we go. So you can see it's bouncing off. As if I just pointed at my screen. There we are. So, obviously, you can mess about with it, but that is basically how to make a gun script. How to make your gun shoot. I'll just quickly show you now the um, key down. that one get key down exact same except when I'm holding it down it doesn't doesn't do it it only does it when I shoot so as you see it still still destroys them but um it just doesn't it still bounces off as well so yeah thank you for watching let me know if this has helped you and um, 17 minutes is a little bit too long, but I'm sure I can do something about that. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next tutorial. See you later.